Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Edward Preach and I go into Fortnite and I teach people about the Bible. In today's video, I ran across a couple chill guys that didn't really mad care if I told them about the gospel message while we played uh, Slide Out in Fortnite. We dropped a 27 kill game. I really feel like I got carried and we wound up with the Victor Royale. I hope you enjoy the, the, the video. Leave your questions and comments in the comments below. Please click the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Don't forget to use code Edward Preach in the Fortnite item shop if you want to do something free to support the ministry, guys. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the video. It's an Audio Technica BP40. What's the brand? Audio Technica. Oh, nice. Why does it sound good? Yeah. I just got this one today. My other one, my the one prior to this one, is an Audio Technica AT2020. That one's 100 bucks. This one's 350. Just to give you a reference, I wasn't trying to brag or nothing. <laughs> But yeah, I'm a content creator. I go into games and I teach people about the Bible and answer Bible questions. Hence the microphone. Teach them about what? I teach people about the Bible and I answer Bible questions. Oh God. Yes, God indeed. I like that one dude. What's his name? Who's that other guy that does that? Uh, I don't know. I, I started it in Fortnite. Really? I, I, my, my old name was Dr. Winister. <laughs> this is my new name. I rebranded to Edward Preach. So if that's the same guy oh. you're talking about, I mean, it's me, I don't know. There's another uh, what guy. What was your old name? Dr. Witnesser? Yeah, I don't I don't even remember what the other dude. Well, there's a guy that does it on Warzone that I actually inspired to start doing it. Like, he, he, I inspired him to start doing it in, War, in Warzone. Are you streaming? I, I am, yes. On Twitch? No, YouTube. YouTube.com slash everypreach slash live. Everybody dead? So is it cool if we talk about the Bible while we play Fortnite or no? I mean, I really don't even give a f Oh, okay. About like any of that, but I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. Oh, well, you know, I care about your salvation and you may not care, but I do. So of course I'm gonna want to talk to you about it. You know, of course you don't have to say anything. I can just listen if you don't, if you, if you want, but. Oh, Og, where are you? I want you so bad. You know, I might, it's I don't know. Yeah, I like the hammer. I really do. But it's just, you know, there's long range things. You just can't do anything with it, you know? When you try to precision aim with that thing and, and fight, you can do it. But, you know, not until, not before you get beamed too, you know? Yeah, it needs a red dot. Not even that. It just needs to be zoomed. You just need to be able to zoom in more with it. You know, if they, if they like, if they increase the zoom on it just a little bit, it'd be helpful. I need, a, I need a bouncer or shockwaves and an, or a grapple. If you guys see one, let me know. I have no movement stuff at all. But yeah, so you know what? I'll just start at the beginning and uh, if you guys could, you know, listen, you can listen, okay? Hey, my tree's over here. Cool, I'm gonna see what, what's in it. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, right? He made it in six days and rested on the seventh day. And in the sixth day, he made Adam and Eve. He made mankind. And uh, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but, oh, hey, I got my bouncers, sweet. Um. I got a bunch of minis right here, and there's a half pot, and there's some shrug splashes right here. People at the gas station. I'm on my way. I'm right behind you. All right, GGs. Well, yeah, so Adam and Eve decided to disobey God. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting over a cold, my bad. But Adam and Eve decided there's some shooting going on east, southeast, right over here, bros. But Adam and Eve decide to disobey God and break his law and uh, sin against him. And sin is transgression of God's law, like lying, for instance. Okay. Uh, we've all lied against God, or we've all lied, and uh, that's a sin. Okay. And sin is breaking God's law. And he says the wages of sin is death. We're all born with a sinful nature because of the sin of Adam and Eve. Okay. All of, all of us are going to sin, no matter what. Right. We're going to sin against God. And sin is breaking God's law. And God says the punishment for breaking his law is death, okay? Hell, the bad place, to put it bluntly. No one wants to go there. I don't want you to go there. I don't want to go there. And the good thing is, is God doesn't want us to go there. Uh, but, you know, but he's a righteous God, so he has to pass judgment on us. So if everybody's guilty and everybody deserves that death because of our sin, how can we get to heaven? Well, that's the great thing. God did something for guilty sinners like me and you so we could all be forgiven and go to heaven. And what he did was he sent his son, Jesus, down to earth. And he uh, took all the sins of the whole entire world upon his shoulders and died on the cross. The perfect sacrifice. He lit his, Through his death, burial, and sacrifice, or in resurrection, we could be uh, forgiven. So what he did enables us to be forgiven. And all God is asking us to do in order to be forgiven and grant us everlasting life is to trust in his son, believe in him, obey him. 
have faith in him. And then as a result of that faith and trust and belief in Jesus, he gives us a new heart. He, he, he grants us, uh, he, he takes that old heart of us, our, our old man out of us, gives us a new heart, enables us to keep his law and follow his commandments so we could stop lying, so we could stop committing adultery, so we could stop hating our fellow man. And if we love Jesus, we wouldn't do any of those things because Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. <laughs> this guy was running and I just got him. Like he was running down the branch and I just like, that's funny. I bet he's so mad. But yeah, so he's just asking us to, we don't, you know, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to, you know, we have to turn away. We have to stop doing stuff. You know, nine out of ten commandments are thou shalt not, thou, thou shalt not, you know, don't steal, st stop stealing, stop committing adultery, stop hating your neighbors, you know, stop st hate, uh, murdering. You know, he's asking us to stop doing stuff. He's not telling us to do this stuff. He's, he's asking us to stop. And uh, he says, just stop it. <laughs> you know, stop breaking my law and obey me because you love me. So if we love God... We obey him. And uh, we, we, we can't just sit there and say, uh, John says to those who say they know him and keep not his commandments, the truth is not in him and he is a liar. So we can't sit there and, and say we love God and keep singing, sinning, sinning against him all the time. That literally makes us a liar. So if you say you love God and, you know, all that, and but you're lying every day, it's proof that you don't love God. That's, that's plan of salvation, you know? We've, we've all sinned. We deserve death because of our sin. But God loves us. Oh, closer to you. Knocked one right there. Hit him 56 on that mark right there. I just got I just got lasered. Knocked this guy right I knocked, here. I knocked one that landed on us. His friend, yeah, 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 yeah. Get that guy. Yes, yes, good stuff. I have to go there and get heals. I have I have nothing. Back me up. Back me up, please. No, he's one, he's one, there's one more right here. Nice, nice, get me. Hey! Hey! See? You can hear about the gospel message of salvation and win at Fortnite at the same time? It's totally possible. Good game. GG, man. Hey, check out the YouTube, youtube.com slash Edward Preach. Loads of content on there for, you know, people who want to know more about the Bible. And most importantly, you can pick up the Bible yourself and read God's word. He loves you, I love you. Repent and trust in Jesus, okay? Think about it before you go to bed tonight. Your life depends on it.